everyone, this is Monkey 1000, and today we are going to bake a, it's called peppermint bark recipe I have found. Found it online while I was at work and totally bored out of my mind. Um, really, it's terrible. Anyway, so what we're going to do, it's a simple recipe that you can make for Christmas, and yeah, so... Stay tuned. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this chocolate. We're going to melt this and I'm going to put it out. And then well, you can use the white after it hardens and you can put this on the top and then you can put your candy on top. I wanted to get candy canes but I couldn't find any. So I'm going to use these and smash them up and then I'll sprinkle them on top. So that's what we're going to do. And so I'm going to do this and melt this first. I'm going to put the parch paper on here. And then we'll come back and you guys can watch me pour it on. So that's what we're kind of going to do. Okay? So stay back. Stay tuned. <laughs> He's over here making me nervous. I'm and he's What's telling me what I need and what I should do. And... Yeah, so I'm a little nervous. And then also, I got some of this. So you can put some peppermint flavoring in it if you want. You don't have to, but I thought I'd try it that way too. So, all right, stay tuned. Okay, so I don't know how much you got. I thought I was recording and I'm not. So stay there, please. And um, so I poured the chocolate in here and I'm just going to let it cool down. And what I'm doing now, I got the candy and I'm going to put them in the plastic bag and then we're going to crush them and I'll bring you back when I do that. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so now we're back and I'm going to bring you around so you can see a little bit better. You're facing the chocolate too much. Alright, there we go. Let's bring it down a little bit. There we go. Alright, so... I put all the candy, took them out of the wrappers, and I got them in my baggie right here. Now I'm gonna one that's one whole bag. So I'm gonna crush these. We need one fourth. Um, uh, oh, you need a whole cup. So hopefully if this is a cup. If not, we'll have to crush some more. So we're gonna break these all up. And there you go. You can also use, you can use other things. You can use almonds. You can use almonds and cherries. You can use peanut butter chips. You can use Oreos. And you can use M&Ms if you like. And you can use caramel bits. Whatever you want to do. This is Christmas, so we want to use the Christmas thing. Ouch, hurting my hand here. Lock so it doesn't fall out. There we go. And you can make them as small as you want. Whatever you want to do. I'm just chopping them up to get them out. There you go. See, when you're upset or mad about something, you take it out on this. Got two more in here. that but I couldn't get any so 
That's why I got these. Because yeah. they were all sold out, of course. And they were crushing. Yeah. So, I'm going to pour this in here. We're going to see how much we got. And if I need more, I'm going to open up the other one and we'll do some more. But, and that's cooling over there. So, let's see how much we got here. I got, I don't know. Let me see. Oh, no. It's... So we'll probably have to use another whole bag and then we'll be perfect. Oh, we should be perfect. Now, this one got a hole in it, so I'm going to use another one so I don't get it all over my counter. And we'll do that and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I got, I cleaned out the microwave. It was quite a mess. I um, got a whole cup here, as you can see. I just didn't put you through the process. You saw it the first time, okay? So what we got to do now, we got to do these bars. So I'm going to break these up into the bowl and I'm going to nuke it for a few minutes and until it gets nice. And then we're going to put the peppermint in it and then we're going to put a little bit of the um, extract in there to give it a little bit more uh, peppermint taste. So we're going to do this, we're going to open these up and I'm going to put these in here in my bowl because these are, um, I'm reading here, so I'm just going to throw these in the bowl and I'll nuke them as slowly, 30 seconds at a time and stir it up until it gets melted and or you can do it over the stove you know the old way like your grandma's used to do it's up to you what you want to do i like the quick way so makes like a little little nicer and you can get it done a little faster depends you know how busy you are you may want to whip this up because you got company coming and they just kind of appeared or they're on their way and you want to give them something so you want to make something like this so there you go now i'm going to do the nuking part and then i'll come back okay guys oops oops i forgot to turn on the mic no he left it on okay all right so okay guys so i microwaved this this is supposed to be white what do they call it it's white chocolate, that's what this is. This is all I could get, so this is what I have. But I thought it would be white, like, you know, looking white. But it's really not. It's kind of like chocolate. So, anyways, so I got this melted. <coughs> Excuse me. Now what we're going to do, we're going to pour some of this in here. So when I pour it on top, it all go in together. So I'm not going to use all of it in here though, because um, you know I'm just going to blend it in, and then I'm going to put a little bit of extract in there. You don't want to use a whole bunch, but just enough to give it a little bit more. I hope you can see that. Yeah, you can. So I'm just mixing them in. Okay, and then I'm going to take some of this, and I'm just going to put. A drop or two. Careful. Yeah, because this will pour out real quick. So you have to be careful with this. And so just just to give it another flavor. If you don't want to, you don't have to. The candy canes that you use will be enough. That's enough. And you heard that sizzle because it's very hot. So Okay, so what I'm going to do now, now they're both the same color, so you're not really going to tell the difference, but hopefully by the taste you will. Um, and if I had gotten, you know, what I really needed to get, but it was all gone, so. Um, so all you're going to do is pour this on top, kind of, and just kind of pour it on top do what you want 
you know, I can thin it out and just put it on top and make two layers. And then, you'll see, you can smell it. And we'll just see how well this works. I don't know if I'm going to, I don't think I'll use all of it on here. I don't think I'll need to. Because it gets hard real quick. It's cooling off, and as it cools off, it gets hard. So, and I just want to be able to move it around without the paper moving it around. So, and you can just put it inside a little bit. Stretch it out. It's cooling down quickly. So, probably not going to use it all. The paper is moving, so I have to fold it onto it. I use parch paper. It says you can use wax paper. To me, they're the same thing, kind of. So, that's what I had, so that's what I used. And you can make it a little bit bigger if you want. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some of these and let me get a spoon. And I'm just going to pour the candy on top, drizzle it around, and just do it like that. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing and just put it on top. And you can make all kinds of them, different kinds, different flavors. You know, you can be creative and do it whatever you like. If you've done this before, then that's a good thing. All right, so it says a whole cup, but I really didn't need this whole cup. I mean, it depends how much you want to put on here. I mean, do you want to put it all on? Or you don't have to. I mean, I'm just gonna, you know. Oops. And I mean, a lot of it's not. All of it's not gonna stick, you know. But. That's a cup with a good plate. Yeah, I think so too. It's not a whole cup though. So I think half a cup was fine. You know. I guess it depends. How much you're making, and but I used what it said, so there you go. And I got a little left over. I don't think I'm gonna put any more in there. That's plenty, you know. I might have, should have, maybe went a down a little bit more on the candy, made it a little bit more like that. I do have some bigger pieces in there that I should have maybe chopped up a little bit longer. But first time I ever done it, so. And there you go. So now what I'm going to do is let it cool. And you let it cool for an hour. And you can put it in the fridge or the freezer just to get it going faster if you want. Or you can just leave it on the counter and let it do its thing. So we'll come back after it is really done. Okay guys, so I'm trying to, uh, I had to do a narration over this, um, it was staticky with the mic, so, um, I don't know if I just didn't have it plugged in all the way, I'm good at that. So, anyways, I'm g getting ready to break all the pieces up on the bark, and I'm looking for a plate at the moment, and, uh, yeah, so we're going to break up all these little pieces. You can make them any size you want. You can make some small ones. You can make big ones. It doesn't matter. You're just going to take them off the paper and start breaking them off. take a few minutes and as you can see I'm just putting them on my plate 
and yeah, <laughs> I've got big huge beets there, so it's a little messy, but it's okay. And just set them on a plate or whatever you want to use them for. You can, you know, buy the little containers and put them in the containers and uh, take them to work. Um, you know, give them to somebody that's, you know, got everything. And they don't need very much, you know. Um, you just, they are hard, so it's like a hard candy, so... If you have trouble with teeth or anything like that, you might not want to eat these. But, you know, my mom ate them, and she doesn't have too many left. So, um, yeah, so she liked it. She was happy with it. Um, yeah, she didn't seem to have too much trouble. So, I'm just sprinkling some of the candy on top again. So you have it. And I'm going to roll that up and throw it out, which is nice so you don't get it all over the paper. It worked pretty good. Didn't stick too badly, the parch paper. So you could use both. You can use that or wax paper. I don't think it really matters. I have to go wash my hands because they're full of candy. <laughs> Peppermint. So, they were sticky. And that was it. So, I'm bringing it over. <laughs> I brought it too far so you can't see it in the camera. And then I realized so I had to bring it back some more. There we go. So you can see, see the end result of it. And got to raise the camera up a little bit so then I can say what I need to say to y'all. And of course it goes on an angle. So I'm trying to straighten it as you'll see. Mm. Lately I've not had too much luck with the mics and with the camera. I don't know why. So. And I'm going to take a little piece and try it. I was surprised. I, I, I didn't think I'd like it because I'm not one for peppermint, but I did. I didn't put too much in there and the candy wasn't overwhelming, so it was quite good. I was, I really liked it. And it's something simple that you can make. And you can put M&Ms and nuts, whatever you want to do. So. I liked it. I said it was good. Yeah. I'm trying to chew it up so I could talk. <laughs> and there you go. So, I hope you enjoyed the video and hope you have a good holiday. And uh, Mikey says she's out for now, y'all. You have a great, great tomorrow. And Maybe you can make this tomorrow if you want, or some other time, maybe for New Year's, you know. So, and there you go. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and have a great time, and Monkey says she's out for now, and I'll wave in a minute, and say goodbye.